federal judge has dismissed a lawsuit that accused Chicago's former top cop of sexually assaulting a female officer. The officer had been part of Johnson's security detail. WGN's Dana Rebick joining us now live from the Dirksen Federal Building with more. Dana. Cynthia Donald alleged that former Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson sexually assaulted her over the course of three years and tried to hide evidence of that alleged abuse. But today, a federal judge ruled against her, saying that Donald welcomed and was an active participant in the relationship. For the three years, I was subjected to unwanted and uninvited sexual abuse, harassment, intimidation, and a hostile work environment. That was former Chicago police officer Cynthia Donald four years ago when she filed a lawsuit against the city of Chicago and former police superintendent Eddie Johnson. Donald, who served on Johnson's security detail, saying she was subject to unwanted sexual harassment and discrimination that violated her equal protection rights. The Chicago Police Department and the city of Chicago need to be held accountable what happened to me. Donald served as Johnson's driver and was with him during the infamous incident in October 2019 when the then superintendent was found slumped over the wheel of his SUV. He later admitted to having drinks with Donald that night. Today, federal judge Elaine Bucklow tossing all claims in the case, saying Donald's evidence fell short, elaborating in her opinion that, quote, Though Donald presents some evidence that could be construed as signals to Johnson that his conduct was unwelcome, it is overwhelmed by evidence to the contrary. The judge says evidence like text messages and photos showed, quote, the relationship between Donald and Johnson was consensual. Donald sending Johnson explicit text messages telling him she loved him. She told the judge she was intimidated by Johnson and sought to appease him to avoid harm and keep her job. Tonight, the attorney for Eddie Johnson sending this statement on the ruling today saying, Mr. Johnson is extremely pleased and grateful for the court's ruling today dismissing Ms. Donald's claims. The court clearly got it right and applied a common sense analysis. Mr. Johnson has always owned up to and acknowledged that he engaged in in a consensual relationship with Ms. Donald. Cynthia Donald's attorney says that she is disappointed and does plan to appeal this decision. Live at the Dirksen Federal Courthouse, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.